Once again, welcome to Live at 9 tonight. To start us off, President Yoram Museveni has criticized leaders in the war-torn regions of Luero and Nakaseke for failing to deliver after being elected. Museveni blames the people of Luero for electing incompetent leaders against his advice. However, the president expressed his gratitude for the contributions made by the people of Luero during the NRM Liberation War and promised to improve major roads in the region, including Matuga Semuto Road, which has now become almost impassable. This came as crowds of his supporters gathered in Luero to celebrate his 80th birthday a small, in a small village in a small, significant village that is important uh, to the NRA Bush War. Various political leaders from different backgrounds, including Vice President Jessica Alupo, Chief Justice Owinyi Dolo, Speaker Anita Among, Prime Minister Robina Nabanja, and many others attended the celebration to honor Yuri Museveni's life. They warmly welcomed him and celebrated his life together with his family members. At around noon, President Yuri Museveni made his grand entry waving to the residents of Semuto, who had been eagerly waiting his arrival to see their beloved leader. Different choirs from various regions performed singing songs of praise dedicated to Yuri Museveni. A special prayer session was laid by Pastor Patience Rawogo, who prayed for the life of the president, Bishop Anthony Ziwa, the Mufta of Uganda, Shaban Ramadan Mobadje, Sheikh Idris Chironde Nsubuga, and other religious leaders joined in offering prayers from Seveni. The LGBTQ agenda and refused to bow down to threats and intimidation of those interests, he was preaching the gospel of righteousness. Bless all that this country is doing. Bless Uganda by giving us good health. After the prayers, the First Lady Janet Museveni took to the stage to offer a special prayer. She thanked God for protecting her husband during the Luero Bush War and for enabling him to lead the country to freedom and the region. We give you praise because not only have you restored peace, stability and prosperity to Uganda, you have gone beyond and made Uganda a stabilizing force in East Africa. Yorim Museveni, accompanied by his wife and family, then proceeded to the ceremonial cutting of the cake. In his speech, President Museveni appreciated the people of Luero for playing a key role in liberating Uganda, emphasizing that he did not achieve it alone. I thank you, the fighters, our children, our, children, our children of the children of the fighters and the grandchildren for joining us to save Uganda. Museveni also apologized to the people of Semuto for the deteriorating state of the roads, promising that the roads would be improved. I am sorry about the road from Matuga to Mawade, to Semuto, I think to Kapeka. They are going to make it stronger than it was because it was not designed for many vehicles originally. He also voiced disappointment over the challenges facing the region, blaming elected leaders for not serving the people well and questioned whether those elected have actually fulfilled their promises. <laughs>